um, for me, it's been really eye-opening to be surrounded by a group of people on the front lines of the national statistical operations. I think as researchers, we can tend to be a little bit more isolated from um, the practical challenges that, that, that statistical offices face. We tend to think of statistical offices as being our stakeholders, but it's interesting to hear about who the stakeholders are for the statistical offices um, and what they have to do to get sustained resources, to build capacity internally, um, to get funding and access to data. These are challenges that they face as well. Yeah, so researchers tend to operate at like the bleeding edge of what's possible, um, and it's important to also have a reality check to think about what actually needs to get done on the ground. And so having more communication and more interaction between um, researchers working at the bleeding edge and then policymakers working closer to the frontier of what's actually happening, I think, is a real important outcome of this conference. Frankly, there are fewer examples of actual use of cutting edge data in real world statistical decision making than we would like. I think that's, that's because the field is young and right now most of what you see is a lot of proof, proofs of concept. Um, but I think what's needed, and this is really what's gonna happen over the next few years, I think, is people taking those proofs of concepts and actually implementing them in um, real world decision making scenarios. There are some great collaborations out there. Um, there's examples in Haiti and Afghanistan, um, Pakistan, and, and as well as in developed countries. Of, but these are really just the seeds and beginnings of those collaborations where you see policymakers and statistical offices getting their hands on tools and exploring them and trying to think about how they might actually influence decisions rather than polished examples of how this has been done to drive decisions in the past. I think, frankly, we're just not there yet. I, I, I mean, I think this is a natural progression that um, the tools are new and for good reason, policymakers and statistical offices are skeptical of what they can and can't do. And so what's needed is just iteration, um, real careful validation, um, actually having good examples of um, statisticians working arm in arm with researchers and industry to drive these applications from sort of proof of concept in a paper to reality on the ground. And once you have these examples, um, I think others will follow suit.